Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your Wix website in 2023. So, if you're experiencing slow page load times and high bounce rates, you are not alone. A slow Wix website is a problem that a lot of people face. And website speed, of course, is crucial for user experience and search engine optimization. So, in this video, I will show you some simple steps to optimize your Wix website and make it load faster. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now, what we need to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google facebook or even apple or with your sso if you don't have an account make sure to click on the sign up option and of course from here you can create your account by entering your email then retyping your email creating a password and typing your password again then clicking on sign up of course again you can create your account with a google account or even facebook account and by signing up you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy it's the same as i showed you before so for me let me just fill this information real quick right here let's see an example that's going to be my email and i'm just going to retype it or like this the password let's say it's going to be something like this and let's just re-enter it and here we are as i said you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want you can simply click add continue with google if you have your google account already connected and choose the email or the gmail that you want to connect with for me i choose the same email that i choose here so now let me just save this so next time i want to log in or something i'll not have to fill those manually and here i'll have to answer a quick survey so let's set up with the right tools first who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you. For me, let's say an example for me or my business or friend. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say an example online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say an example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot. And even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say an example is going to be blog. I don't know. Maybe music, video. And click on next. Why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. 
And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store as an example. I'll have to add a first my first products and then set up a payment method. Then, of course, set up shipping and delivery address, then design my website, then connect to a custom domain, then get found by customers on Google. So, of course, if you want to boost your Wix website, there is, or there is a lot of steps to do that. Let's start by the most basic one, and that's everyone knows, is, of course, by upgrading your hosting plan. If you have a lot of traffic, upgrading your Wix hosting plan can improve your website speed, of course. So make sure just to go and upgrade your hosting plan because that will definitely speed up your Wix website. Other than that, there are five other steps, of course, including the first one. Once you are designing your website, as an example, let's just show you here. I'm just going to design my website, as an example. Create a site for you. So let me just get into the editor. It should not take a lot of time. So once you are here, of course, as I said, the first step is minimize the image size because large images can slow down your website a lot, even more than you think. So you can use image optimization tool to reduce an image size. If you're worried about the image quality, as an example, you can use, you can just go to another tab and resize image tool as an example just write this in google and i'm sure as you can see you will find a lot of tools that can do that for you some of them will find will be free and some of them will not so that's going to be the first step of course the second step is remove and used apps so if you're using a lot of apps in your website make sure to go and remove the unused ones because apps and widgets can be used for but having too many can slow down your website so remove your unused apps to reduce the load time of course, in the dashboard here, you'll find all your apps right here on this left panel. And uh, so make sure to remove some of them if you have in a lot. Of course, then you'll have to enable the browser caching because that will allow your website to store files in a user's browser so they don't need to be downloaded every time. So enable browser caching to speed up your website. And of course, you'll have to optimize your CSS and JavaScript. Because a large CSS and JavaScript files can slow down your website. You'll have simply to minimize and combine them to improve the load time. And the final step or advice that I can give you is simply reduce the redirect or redirects. Because the redirects can add additional time to your website load. So just use redirects only when necessary and not just every time to make your websites better or something like that because that will make it slower and not just better and as i said before what is actually necessary is upgrading your hosting plan because you will not need to do all of that if you have a great hosting plan so make sure to upgrade that first of all and then if you have any issues you can just go back to the previous steps so by following these steps of course you can optimize your wix website and improve its loading speed remember a fast website not only improve user experience but also helps with search engines optimization i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them down below that was me for this tutorial goodbye and i will see you in the next one